She sophisticated, head to the toes Acting like a lady, she ain't acting like these hoes She don't need me, she got her own Independent woman and it shows She may be laughing, but I know that she ain't kidding We ain't keeping secrets, but I stay out of her business Hey y'all Good evening, good night, good morning Whatever time it is for you, it is nighttime for me and not only is it night time, it's wine time. My time, that's me time. And of course, you know, y'all probably seen my video, my drunken makeup tutorial. And I feel like y'all, y'all love me being me. Like y'all love me drinking. And I'm not a drunk or anything. It takes, I think it takes a lot to be an alcoholic so we're just not even gonna throw out any names okay we're that name calling over here i just want to do a video or videos of just you know me talking to y'all that's what i'm doing that's why i'm here and this is what i wear to sleep this gown i'm a nightgown person i'm not like a naked person like i need I need nightgowns and pajamas and PJs and stuff like that. So I actually do wear like clothes to bed because I just, I don't know, I can't. I, I like clothes. I like pajamas and stuff. I put this jacket on because I want to be extra. Like I want to be cute. And this is like one of my favorite jackets. So, you know. But anyways, back to the important stuff, okay? This is what I'm drinking tonight. I'm drinking, um... Okay, first of all, my friends that I eat put me onto this. I did not know this is the one that she, this was the exact one that she was had me drinking the other day. I was going to get um, 14 Hands Merlot, but then I was like, you know what? I, 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 did, I didn't know, I'm stuttering. I was going to get 14 Hands Merlot to start off with, but I forgot every time I try a new brand, if I haven't had like their wine before i always just get their red blend so this is a smooth red blend and um yeah so that's why i got it and then when i got home i saw i still had the bottle the empty bottle of this and i was like oh i've had that before so yeah but that's like a little pro tip i'm not a pro but or beginner tip Whenever, like, you know, people are always scared to get into red wine or something. Because, like, you know, when you're starting off drinking wine, you always want to start off sweet or whatever, I guess. But, um, I used to get so many hangovers drinking, like, Moscato. <sighs> Moscato was about to kill me. So, yeah. So, anyways, I, um, I moved over to red. And anytime I try a new brand, I always start with the red blend. And then if I like that, I'll go to, like, their Merlot. And then I'll, I even do a Pinot Noir every now and then. But um, for the most part, I just do red blends because it's easy, it's simple, and like you can get any brand. Like, you know, I try not to go too cheap because if you go too cheap, you'll feel it in the morning. Like you'll have a hangover or whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead. Let's take our first sip and um, start this little combo or whatever. So, cheers! Clink, 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 clink. yeah i can do it i want to start doing wind down wednesdays on my channel i'll come on here every wednesday you'll get to see me drink and i will basically just talk about my week talk about whatever is on my mind i'm really excited to do this because for those of y'all who don't know talking to a camera is therapeutic i don't even understand how but I remember like when I was going through my worst year, um, my worst year was 2015. I always said I want to do a story time about it, but I have bad memory and I can't remember a lot that happened that year. I only can remember like the big details and I don't want to just get on here and tell y'all big ass crazy details and scare y'all and make y'all think that I was just going through crazy shit when I can't tell y'all everything leading up to it. So I haven't done the, um, the craziest year of my or the worst year of my life yet story time because yeah i can't remember all of it anyways my point in saying that was when i was going through the worst times of my life i would like take my cell phone and i would sit it in front of me when i would drive and i would just record myself talking like basically video diary basically like i would video self 
videotape myself crying. I would just be pouring out how I feel, screaming, whatever. It was just, I don't know. I guess it was just a way for me to, I don't know. It was just me, a way for me to get everything off my chest and how I felt, you know? So, I guess this is kind of, could be like that. I always have weird random thoughts. The weird random thought I had today was, it, it just happened not so long ago, like 15, 30 minutes ago. I was driving home and I just started thinking to myself like, um, I love my boyfriend. And then I started thinking, I know I got him because of law of attraction. Like I know I attracted him to me. Not even trying to, like not even trying to. But I just did it because I kept just, I deeply felt what I wanted inside, inside, yeah. As I was thinking about, you know, I'm happy I have what I have now, I started thinking of, damn girl, you wouldn't have had what you had now if you kept was acting how you was acting before. And basically how I was acting before was, I was chasing niggas. Like, don't get me wrong. I've never just been like no marathon triathlete. Tri triathlete. You get what I'm saying. I wasn't chasing niggas like that. I wasn't doing backflips and cartwheels for no nigga. But I was more like, you know, like doing the most. Like, not doing the most. I was more like pursuing them than they would pursue me. And I just started thinking like, man, let me take a sip. I'm, I'm tripping. Let me not forget why we're here. If I sip wine weird, y'all. Sometimes I hold my glass like this. Sometimes I hold it like this. When I'm out, I kind of be like this. Like, bitch, you're not gonna catch me slipping. But I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Let me stay on topic so I can make this video about something. I was just thinking to myself like, damn, it's really not good to chase guys and there's reasons why. Now don't get me wrong, if I sit down, I can give you a whole list. Trust me, I can make it a video of why not to chase guys. But for just the sake of us talking, it's just like, to me, my reasons, my main reasons of why I decided to no longer chase guys or no longer pursue guys or anything like that, because I've never been like that shy or anything. Like if I see somebody I like, I don't mind like, you know, going up to them, hey, what's up? Like, I feel like I'm a girl, you gonna turn me down? Nine times out of 10, you're not. So I've never been like, you know, opposed. So because I feel like it's easier for me just to go up and talk to you and get what I want, I always kind of would like do that or I wasn't opposed to doing that. And then I just kind of realized like, I don't want to do that. Like if I go up to you and I tell you I like you and I want to talk to you, that means you don't have to necessarily like me or want me or feel the same way. You're just going to say yes because you're just saying yeah. You're just like, oh, well, you throwing it at me. Yeah, I'm going to say yeah. And that's not what we want, ladies. Like that's not what we want. Like that's what we want. Like we just want fun or we just want what we want in the moment. And don't get me wrong. Sometimes that does work for people. It can be successful doing that. But... I knew that's not what I wanted. I wanted someone to pursue me. Like I don't, I've never had somebody like just straight up pursue me off the rip and all type of stuff like that. So I know I wanted to experience that. I was like, mm, I don't want to like the story be, oh, I saw my husband, I chased him down in the mall and was like, hey, what's good? Like, I don't want that to be my story. I wanted my story to be what it's becoming right now. And I wanted it to be like, damn, this nigga saw me and was, you know, he was messing with the kid, like, you know? So I'm getting hot, but the jacket does not come off. That was just a little, little thought, little car ride thought of like, bitch, you silly. You used to be out here chasing after some nigga. Something else I've been seeing on like YouTube a lot 
has been people talking about colorism in the black community. I guess I'm a little tired of seeing videos about colorism in the black community only because it's like, first of all, I have always considered myself dark skinned. I have because, take that back, not I have always because as a kid and growing up, I never thought of skin tone or skin color. When I tell y'all I was getting teased for so other many reasons besides my skin color, I damn near would have rather chose that. I don't know, I never had any issues being brown skin or whatever. So I can't connect when it comes to, I felt different because I was dark skin. So that aspect, I can't, con I, well not can't connect. I don't understand or I didn't experience, no, no, I do understand. I didn't experience the, that dark skin uh, growing up, you know, experience. But some of my friends tell me, Alondra, you're not dark skin, you're brown. And I get that, I'm not colorblind. Like I'm one of those people, I like for everyone to say exactly what color you are. It's not light skin and dark skin. It's, you know, you got your light skin, you got your red bones, you got your brown, you got your peanut butters, you got your dark, your chocolate. Like I break everything down, like, you know? So I get it, I know I'm brown, but I'm not gonna just be like, I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm brown, hi. I'm a laundry and I'm brown. I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna be like, oh, you light skin, you dark skin. Like I, you know, at, in conversation, I'll separate it like easily like that. But, um, you know, so I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like I see all these videos about light skin, dark skin, and colorism in the black community. And don't get me wrong, like, like the YG video, yeah, YG. The YG, I only seen one clip of YG talking about colorism, about like, we got these light skin babies, or, or yeah, I had me a pretty light skin baby. I don't know, stuff like that does not bother me personally, because... If you want to be ignorant and if you want to think that your daughter is just the the um, beginning and the end or whatever because she's light skinned, then that's you. I don't care. Like, you know, like if that's how you feel about light skinned women, that's fine. Like, I don't care if a black man worships light skinned women. That doesn't bother me. Um, and it doesn't bother me if he's ignorant or anything like that because it's like. I don't got to deal with it. So it don't bother me. Like, you know, and when I have kids, I'm, I can raise them how I want to raise them. So it doesn't bother me. And I know it's going to be people out in the world who are going to be raising their kids on the same wavelength as I'm raising my kids and they can mesh. And then the people that are raising his kid may be shallow or however, no substance. However, you're raising those kids and they meet other kids and they'll mesh. So it's like cycles continue. It's just not a problem for me. Like, yes, of course, course in a perfect world we could all be woke we could all be inclusive or whatever but if it, it's just like y'all we can't I just feel like me personally I'm not going to get butt hurt about somebody else's ignorance or someone else's choices or whatever so oh excuse me hmm you know, like, I'm just not going to get butt hurt about it. But I've seen some videos on YouTube about, like, the whole colorism thing. And one thing I have to disagree with with some of the stuff I have saw is some girls, some dark-skinned girls have been getting offended. And they say that, you know, guys use the word preference as, like, an excuse or whatever. To be like, well, no, I have a preference. You know, that's why I date or that's why I like light skinned women it's just a preference or whatever and they get offended I guess by the word preference like no you shouldn't have a preference you should like everybody that's black because we all black people we all the same but no I think it's okay if someone has a preference like like what we like I'm about to like point I'm about to like pull out my eyeball like what my eyeball sees comes out different from what your eyeball sees so if my eyeball sees lighter skin tone and i think that that's pretty or i prefer that then that's okay because that's what i see as pretty like you know um and i think that's okay the same way if white people if they look at the all of their white people because white people come in different um they don't really come in different shades now i don't know but they come in different looks and if you are a white man and you with your eyeball look at another white women other white women like me personally i i really like 
ginger white people. I like redhead white people or white people with freckles. Like I like redhead white people over any other look of white people. So that's my preference. If I had a preference of white people or white women, I would prefer that bitch to be redheaded with some freckles. I can't help that that's what I find more beautiful in white women or white people or whatever. It's a preference and that's okay. I'm not saying that if I was to see a white woman that's blonde, I would think she's ugly or a brunette, I would think she's ugly. No, I'm just saying if I had a choice, so I just feel like, like I said in my video, if y'all want to sit over here and get butt hurt because a mad black male has a preference of light skinned women, then you keep being butt hurt. I'm going to go where I'm wanted. And if I'm wanted with light skinned men, then where's the bus? Where's the bus ticket? You know, it's like, girl, calm the fuck down because... If those same men said they had a preference of dark-skinned women, I prefer dark-skinned women. You wouldn't be complaining. You wouldn't be complaining at all. You'll be happy to be the preference. So go where you're the preference. That's all I'm saying. It's just not that deep for me to be butthurt. But I'm not going to take away someone else's experience because I guess I am brown. I'm not dark or chocolate. I guess so I can't maybe it really is worse maybe they're not getting chose at all I don't know so I'm not gonna maybe I won't say that disregard everything I said I'm just playing I've literally been chilling let me pour up a little bit for the people that's watching this like bitch if you don't drink that because I know when I watch videos I'd be like I be talking to them I be talking to the camera and I'm like oh you pissing me off y'all well, I was about to say wine don't get me drunk, but that would definitely be a lie. I can easily get drunk off wine. I actually prefer a wine buzz over liquor buzz because it's just like a, ooh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I actually prefer wine buzz over liquor buzz because it's like, it's a smoother, easier taste than to just like, than to like get drunk off liquor. Don't get me wrong, I, I love it all. But sometimes I'm not in the mood for that strongness, you know? Sometimes I'm just, I'm in a mood for a gradual, calm buzz, you know? My cycle started yesterday, so yay me. And since I've been drinking today, I don't wanna take any Motrin because I don't wanna die. So that's why I'm like, I might as well just cure my cramps with some wine or whatever. Super bloated. Super fucking bloated. I really want to get on here and talk about these weird ass people I work with. And I just think it's so funny. Like, I love talking about people I work with. I really do. Because jobs are like places where you just see so many different personalities, so many different walks of life, so many like different races or whatever, depending where you live, anyways. But so you just see so many different motherfuckers basically it really just makes you think like the day when i can literally just like walk in and be like i'm done i have a real job i have a real career i'm done when i tell you that day i'm probably gonna cry legit I'm probably gonna cry i'm probably just gonna be like how did i do this like I'm probably not gonna believe it. Even though that's what I want, I'm probably just not even gonna believe. Like, oh my God, that day is today? Like, what day is it gonna be? Tomorrow? <laughs> what day is it gonna be? So yeah, I work tomorrow. And y'all, this new job, I need to do a video series about this new job on its own. Like, so as I've told y'all in my last job, the job I got fired from, which I guess I should just do a story time. I'm gonna do a story time about how I got fired because fuck them. That's not that bad because I don't really know where the bottle starts. I make it one more glass depending on how long I can go. It's like, y'all, I don't even want to tell y'all what time it is because I don't want y'all looking at me like, why is this girl up drinking? But fuck it. Let me see what time it is. 
Y'all are my people. If if y'all wasn't my people, I wouldn't tell y'all. But it's 110. So let's just say 115. So it's one o'clock and I work tomorrow. It's not that I don't want to go. It's just I haven't worked a job where I felt like I had to be in character. And I know y'all are gonna be like, well, Laundra, you don't really have to be in character. Like, just be yourself. I'm ratchet. Literally, I am working for the white man. The job is just so uptight. And people are so like, just assholes clenched. And then like, it's a server job. And like, y'all, to me, I'm not gonna say servers are bottom barrel careers. I'm not gonna sit and say that because bitches don't be struggling for money bitches don't be out here like nah you can live nice so i'm not gonna say like oh we're servers like we're fucking nothing like why are you acting like this no i'm not gonna say that because servers can live very nice they can make good money but my thing is the people here at this new job they're just like weird like I feel like I am working on like the set of like get out everyone's like hypnotized and the managers like you know they're the ones that have us all hypnotized or something like it's just a weird vibe see how that goes ride that wave but today I went to the movies I went and saw the movie Little with Issa Rae and um damn don't know her name Marcy I'm not even gonna try to say it because I really don't know her name at all because I'm pretty good with names. I just don't know it at all. So that's why I don't know how to pronounce it. But Issa Rae, the movie Little, that's all I need to say. The advertisement been all over YouTube. Every fucking video I watch, it's a little advertisement. But um, I thought the movie was gonna be corny and I almost didn't wanna see it because I was like, oh, it's gonna be cheesy. It was actually a really good movie. It was like funny and like, you know, silly. And I just love Issa Rae, like Issa Rae, like why are you me? Like why is Issa Rae me and I am you, bitch? One segment of my life can be Issa Rae. I feel like a lot of us, one segment of our lives is Issa Rae, like you know? And so I just love Issa Rae's vibe of like, I'm single and desperate. And like, I just love her like pro-blackness and like, you know, just everything about Issa Rae, bitch. I need Issa Rae to drop a mixtape or something. Drop your playlist, bitch, because all her soundtracks in, her, in the show Insecure and in the movie was like, bruh, who are these artists? Because I need to listen to their music so I can cry. Or so I can feel like that bitch. Like the soundtracks were just like, you know, women, like women rappers or whatever. And I just love it. I think it's like LA music, like the LA vibe. My boyfriend's from LA. So I just have like that, well, not like LA connection, but I just feel like I love LA, like, <laughs> which is really kind of crazy because I never had like any type of like thoughts of LA, like never, ever, ever thought anything about Los Angeles. But after you start like really like getting in the vibe and like, like really getting there and stuff, it's like, okay, I like the vibe out here. I like it. And so she be having like the LA music and and I just I just love it. I'll pour up a little bit, just a little bit, because I a bitch gotta go to work tomorrow. And this weird ass job, I don't think I can be late at all. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit. So I could tell y'all the last little bit that was on my mind. Damn. Am I gonna drink all of that? Is she? Can she? What will happen? Tune in next, next Wednesday. Alondra versus the bottle. I, I just wanna be honest and like share how I feel, how I feel and my experiences with no regards to anyone else's opinions or feelings, even my friends. And I'm of course I'm not gonna say nothing fucking rude or disrespectful because they're my friends. I fucking don't have nothing rude or disrespectful to say about them. But I wanna be able to say things uncut without like, you know, without worrying about, damn, I hope I don't offend them. I hope nothing changes, you know. 
but I do have to be true to myself, you know, and be true to my channel and like say how I feel because it's how I express myself. And if I can't fucking do it here, then the only place I can do it is in the shower. And bitch, when you only take 15 minute showers, bitch, and you be having a whole lot going on throughout the week, bitch, 15 minutes ain't enough to fucking vent and say how you feel. So anyways, okay. But um, I feel it's so much I want to tell y'all now. Now that I'm drinking, I'm like, I want to tell you this. I want to tell you that. I want to, but whatever. I'll keep it short. We'll save some other shit for next Wednesday. Another like thought, a random thought I had for, I'll say two days. I'll be real. For two days, I had this thought. I've always wanted to surround myself with people that I can look up to. So it doesn't mean they're necessarily doing better than me financially, spiritually, academically, uh, financially. I don't know if I said that already, but whatever. It doesn't mean like a certain area I need them to be doing better than me for me to quote unquote look up to them. But I know I've always wanted to have a strong circle of people around me. Don't get me wrong. I have that now. And it's only fucking three people. Four if I include my mom. I've always wanted to have like positive people around me, you know? They're in their own lanes, they're doing their own thing, and that's why I can fool with it. Like, you know, I can look up to them like, oh my God, I'm so proud of my friend. She just got accepted into a university. She's like doing her shit. Like, you know, she's doing her shit. Like, she's so driven and passionate. That nigga like, you know, he's already done, like went through the whole schooling process. Like he's in working in his career, in his field, and he's like going through different experiences and new beginnings in that career, in that field, in that pathway. And I pride myself on genuinely being happy for people that I fuck with. And I've always prided myself on like living through people's experiences. Cause I'm like, ooh, if I can't go, at least my friend can go and I can watch their snaps and I can be there or I can like live through people because that's just, I don't know, that's fun for me. Like it's fun seeing people I like have fun or do what they want to do or whatever. But the worldly part of me, the part that I can't control fully, the part of me that I don't like is that itty bitty, itty bitty, itty bitty piece of me that like, which I've never experienced this. That's why I really felt bad. Like I was like checking myself, like bitch, check yourself. Don't ruin someone else's experience, like, you know? But I found myself getting a little jealous because I feel like they have like like they're they're doing what they want to do like you know they're they're working towards what they want to work towards they're doing what they want to do you know so on and so on and I'm just like like even though that may sound like Alondra stop being negative like or whatever trust me I'm not even on that shit no more this is like two days ago how I was thinking but it's just like, hold on, let me take a sip so we can, I can get this finished before, you know, I have to go to bed. When I say jealous, not jealous of their accomplishments, because I swear it's a blessing to have people that are happy doing what they want to do and are driven and focused and ambitious. And it's a, it's a blessing to know people like that and have people in your circle like that because some people's circle is all fucking bums. Like, not on no rude shit. Or not on no trying to play them. Like, some people's circle. Like, my circle. My old circle used to be bitches that wasn't doing nothing. So, trust me. I love the fact that I have two good friends that are, like, keep me motivated. And I can look at them like, Alondra, get your shit together. Alondra, get your shit together. Alondra, get your shit together. Like, you know? Like, I love that. So... But some, so when I say I'm like a little jealous, it's not about their accomplishments. I'm happy for that. I live for that. And I'm happy that one day when I get up there too with them, I can be like, yay, I do this. You do that. You do that. And yay. Like someone can finally say, oh, I'm so happy of my friend Alondra. Alondra did this. Like Alondra's doing this. Like, you know, one day I'll like, you know, so I'm not mad about that. But the part that I get jealous of is the fact that they 
well I know what I want to do but the fact that they know what they want to do and they're like just able to do it and they're just like it's just been like a oh I've known I wanted to do this or I don't know if they have I don't lie but it's just like a you know I know I want to do this and this is what I went to school for and I'm able to do it and it's like me I've always been fucking torn between you know what do I want to do what do I like what am I good at blah 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 blah, blah. yeah this was two days ago when I felt that way but side note that's pretty much the end of that because I really didn't think much else about it besides bitch check yourself stop feeling that way like don't ever feel that way like you know I had to check myself and be like bitch don't ever fucking that that was the first jealous little bone I had and it just did not make me feel good because I'm like these are my friends and that's not okay for me to feel like that so I checked myself um so that's really the end of that and then side note I um I don't feel like that anymore about like Alondra what do you want to do what do you want to do it's like I, I'm just I'm choosing to not even think like that anymore I'm choosing to not think like that even though I go to a job where people ask me on a daily basis are you in school are you in school I recently told myself that next motherfucker who asks me am I in school bitch you gonna hate me bitch you gonna hate me because I don't give a fuck if your ass is 70 I'm gonna be like no are you bitch what school are you at that's what I'm going to ask. Don't get me wrong. I'm not mad about the question. I don't mind. I really don't mind the question. I don't. Because it's an innocent question. It is really an innocent question. And I'm not going to let my insecurity about that, which I don't have insecurity anymore, but previously. I'm not going to let any insecurity I may have about that question make me be rude to someone. So, no, I'm not going to do that. But it's the responses I get from that question. It's the those those eyes of like worry of like oh my god of fear like oh my god you're not in school you're doomed that's the shit where I'm gonna be like bitch you got me fucked up no I'm not in school bitch no I don't plan to go to school and bitch am I sleeping on your couch this is the thing and this is why y'all gonna realize on my channel I hate to be that person where I'm always talking about school and I'm always talking about my fucking insecurities with like my future but the thing is which y'all may not realize which I'm realizing is that I'm rewiring myself because society has wired us I'm gonna speak for my for myself because y'all may still be wired up in a, accordance to this I don't know the right words okay bitch but y'all may be like wired like in this world of like yeah go to school or whatever don't get me wrong I don't I don't not want to school fuck I need a doctor bitch like I need I need certain stuff so I'm not knocking school I've been rewiring myself to not live my life according to like what this world says are the standards and requirements or some shit y'all know what I'm saying I don't mind the question of are you in school I'm over that I just don't sit well with the idea that school is the end all and be all you know what words I'm trying to say I don't agree with that and that's what makes me you know just feel like bitch I'm not sleeping on your couch so I don't need those sad puppy dog eyes and I don't need that worry and I don't need that degree plan and I don't need you to map out my life of well what are you gonna do like literally y'all this guy at my job um this guy at my job was like so yeah are you in school and I was like no and I love yeah I just love fucking with people I do but I was like no and he was like well you know you should you know well yeah you know you really need to get that going this and that bitch are you paying for my school let me know if you are because don't tell me what the fuck I need to be doing if you're not paying for some shit and don't tell me what the fuck I need to be doing if I ain't sleeping on your couch. Period. 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 <laughs> okay. I, okay. All right.
I'll get it tipsy. But you get what I'm saying? Like straight up. Like straight up. I don't fucking come up to other people and be like, hi sir, do you have a job? Hi sir, do you know Jesus? Hi sir, are you in school? Bitch, no. But y'all, my camera is about to die. So guess that means it's time for me to take my ass to bed. Um, I just literally I, I think I'm gonna love this wind down Wednesday shit if y'all like this video you like the concept just like this video fuck with me fucking write a comment bitch interact it's what this is a social fucking media platform so if you like videos like this where me just coming on here talking if you want me to like talk about an actual topic then drop that topic and I'll actually talk about something specific but for the most part I want to incorporate wind down Wednesdays on my channel where I just, you know, come on here and like I can talk about y'all. <laughs> what the fuck? I can talk. I can talk about just my actual normal life and just be able to connect on some real shit. I'm about to take my ass to bed and go work for the white man for now. Anyways, like this video. I hope you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, just know you're a hater. And I'll catch y'all in my next one. Bye, y'all.